It's possible to imagine a world in which Japan never enters the war, where we don't even develop a relationship with Japan. We wouldn't see the kind of cultural hybridity that we do nowadays. There wouldn't be the kind of intense enthusiasm for Japanese popular culture. Stephen sees our relationship in that world as more like our relationship with China now, a relationship where we appreciate their economic power, their language, their food, but without the creative exchange. Anytime a war occurs, there is an incredible surge in creativity. Years from now, we may look at the Middle East as having a cultural resurgence in the early 21st century. Stephen sees this kind of effect in Japan after the war. It's cruel and inhuman to say that it justifies the horrors of World War II, but it also seems nearly impossible to imagine a world without Japanese influence on our lives. Their art, media, and technology are now so embedded in our own, and World War II made that exchange possible for both countries. Stagnant traditions crumbled, and artists had an opportunity to reinvent the artistic landscape. Uh, that was a wonderful thing. <laughs>